You're listening to English Go podcast. We'll get started right after this. Sorry, this episode is late, and sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird. I have been feeling pretty rough. I've been feeling very ill, to be honest.、Um, I don't know what I've had. I've had it since Sunday, and on Tuesday I felt like I was getting better. It's really weird. And then Wednesday came, and it's like, wow, it's hit me like、uh, full power. And、um, Tuesday wasn't good either. Yesterday, and finally today, in the morning, I'm feeling a bit better. So I'm taking this opportunity to record、um, this podcast episode quickly in case I start feeling worse again later on during the day. But really, I've just been lying down in bed. I felt that ill. Um, throughout much of the day, or just lying down on on the sofa, just feeling pretty terrible, and my voice has been much worse than this. So I really could not do a podcast. Sorry, I have taken、um, tests like COVID tests because I thought you know it was so bad. I thought、mm, I wonder if it is COVID, but I've done two of them so far, and both of them have been negative. So who knows what it is? Very very strange. But anyway, it is the last day before Christmas. <laughs> no, it's not the last day before Christmas. It is the last podcast、uh, before Christmas.、Uh, so I wanted to talk to you some, about something a little Christmassy, I suppose.、Um, I went on a, a Christmas works function, a Christmas works do, a Christmas works party, recently, and met up with everyone from work. Well, I say recently. It was actually last Friday. Now,、uh, that's how long I've been ill. I've been ill for over a week. It's been crazy. Anyway,、um, where should I get started? I remember when I've talked about stuff like this before. I mentioned the,、um, like traveling on the trains and buses and so forth, but that did not happen this year. It could not happen this year because there have been train strikes, and there were some on. There was one train strike on the day I needed to travel down. And there was never train strike on the day I needed to travel back, so I ended up borrowing a car and driving、um, myself there. And by car, it wasn't actually too bad. It takes by train, it takes about two hours and forty-five minutes to get into the office, which is just crazy. And、um, by car, it takes about one hour and a half,、uh, depending on the traffic. So that's not too bad. But anyway,、um, I found a car park that was really close to my company, and it was to to leave my car there for twenty four hours all night. It only cost seven pounds, which surprised me. That's I've parked in in a car park in Birmingham for like three hours, four hours, and it's cost ten pounds or something stupid. So、um, yeah, I was quite happy at those prices. I thought I was going to be paying like twenty four pounds or something stupid. Um, so anyway, I arrived just at the right time, just as everyone was about to start doing a Secret Santa. So, in case you don't know,、uh, Secret Santa is where everybody has to buy a present for someone else, but nobody knows who's buying that present. So we all had an email saying, like, you, you know, you need to buy a present for this person, and、uh, I bought a present, wrapped it up. And then when I entered the office, I put it underneath the Christmas tree in the office, and then somebody at the company started giving all these presents out、um, to people, and we saw、uh, what we got. Actually, I didn't get a present then because the person I received a present from hadn't arrived at the company, and because of that, I didn't open my present there. So I've decided to wait until Christmas Day to see what it is.、Um, I think it's a book. But yeah, I don't know what book, so、uh, I'm excited to see what that is actually. So after that, we got onto a bus and headed to Oxford.、Um, this bus was not a normal bus;、uh, it's like a private hire bus, sort of like a mini bus but bigger,、uh, if you know what a mini bus is. And、um, the seats were facing sideways along the vehicle, and then there were some seats at the back as well. And it was a bit weird because all of the windows were really dark, and there was lots of like disco lights on there and music playing, and all that kind of stuff. So it was it was a party bus, 
and uh, you could drink alcohol on there, and they provided some, like, glasses and some kind of, I don't know, maybe, like, Prosecco or that kind of thing. Not champagne, it wasn't. Um, but, yeah, it was it was quite a fun experience going on there. But I did notice that there weren't any seat belts anywhere, which I thought was a bit dangerous. I think we were going on the motorway at some point. Um, I couldn't really see out of the window so well, but... Um, you know, if you're on a motorway, you're doing like 70 miles per hour and no seat belts. It just felt a bit weird. On the on the way back, I sat on the back seats and they did have seat belts on the back seats, but it was really weird. It was so small that I couldn't get it around my waist. I don't, I don't know what it was there for. It's like it was just there for show. You know, it had no purpose. I tried to stretch it as far as it could go. I still couldn't get it over my lap. So, yeah, no seat belts. <laughs> Anyway, when we arrived in Manchester, we went to play mini golf. Um, mini golf? Crazy golf? I guess it's the same thing. Um, so that was indoors, and there was a theme of a junkyard. Um, so like a place where you scrap cars, where old cars go. And um, it was... It was crazy. There were lots of, lots of um, weird ways that you had to... Um, hit your ball and like go through loops and go through old cars and I remember one of them you had to go up some stairs and like hit your ball and try and get it to roll down the slide and then you had to go down the slide yourself to carry on trying to hit your golf ball anyway that was really fun and uh, I enjoyed that a lot after that we went to a a restaurant that was very nice um, a very nice restaurant and I I had this weird drink, and I can't remember its name. Um, I don't know. I think it was a cocktail or something. I don't normally drink cocktails, but someone ordered this drink, and it was called... Oh, it was called a Japanese something. And uh, someone had it, and they said, oh, it's very strong. And I thought, yeah, I'll give that a go. I don't know what it is, but I'll try it. And it ended up being a cocktail, and it was... It was okay. I think I would have enjoyed... Um, a whiskey more or um, gin and tonic or something like that but yeah, okay, <laughs> it was alright <laughs> um, the food however I really enjoyed um, I thought that was very good I tried to pick all of the Christmas options so it was a three course meal and I wanted to you know, have a full like Christmas experience for the Christmas um, the Christmas event but the f- there wasn't anything Christmassy for the starter. So I ended up choosing tempura battered shrimp, um, which, you know, that, that batter is, is Japanese, so not really traditional Christmas, I don't think, but um, there wasn't anything else. For the for the main course and for the pudding, um, for, the, for dessert, I was able to choose something Christmassy. So the main course was a turkey roulette, which is... Mm, like uh, like like turkey uh, in a round sort of shape, and it had stuffing, stuffing uh, cooked along with this turkey, and that was really good. And I had it with some carrots and some roast potatoes and gravy and some other things that I might be forgetting now, but um, yeah, other vegetables. But yeah, that was really good. I enjoyed that. And then afterwards, I had um, Christmas pudding which is another very traditional uh, Christmas pudding, (laughs) Christmas dessert. And again, that was really good. And it was nice and small, which which is really good, actually. I think I ate all of it, which is very rare. Normally when I go out, I can't eat all of everything. I usually have to leave loads of it because my appetite is so small. But this time, I think I was able to eat everything. Wow. Um, Maybe I was just really hungry or something. Who knows? But yeah, they even they even got some probably brandy and poured it over the uh, Christmas pudding and then set the brandy on fire, um, which is a traditional way to eat a Christmas pudding in England. Um, sadly, I think I was one of the few people who actually went for the traditional option. I don't know why, but it seems like it wasn't... Oh yeah, I had sprouts. I just remembered I had sprouts. Not many people like those, I don't think. But yes, yeah, sorry, I was trying to say um, it seems like not a lot of people wanted the traditional options for this Christmas 
meeting uh, that we that we had. Um, so I think like the most popular thing was a, a chicken burger, um, and yeah, that's not Christmassy, is it? And then the Christmas pudding. I think maybe three people, including myself, had a Christmas pudding. I don't know, two or three. So yeah, I thought every, I thought it would be like the most popular option, since being as it's Christmas, it just seemed like the most appropriate choice. But I suppose maybe some people were thinking like, well, I'm going to have a, a proper Christmas meal um, on the 25th of December, so I don't want one now. Who knows? But yeah, anyway, the, the food there was really good. And the whole event overall, I think it was my favorite like Christmas meeting for this company so far. I think it was the, the one I've enjoyed the most. Uh, afterwards, we went back to lemington spa back on that party bus and uh just played some pool and darts um in the in at my company's office so that was a really nice way to end the night and then i just uh, left at around i think it was like half 11 12 so not too late um and then headed to my hotel and uh checked in and yeah that was it Woke up the next morning and I went to Weatherspoon's pub that was like about a minute walk away or something, really close. And it was really, really quiet in there. About There were about 10 people in there and it's a big, big pub. So it's nice and silent in the mornings and there's no no music on or, you know, just really quiet, nice environment. And just sat there, had some coffee, had some breakfast, just thinking about things and uh, maybe feeling like a little very slightly uh, hungover, but um, I was very careful. I was very careful not to drink too much because I had to drive back shortly after that. So, you know, I had to be really careful with that. Anyway, like I said, it was really good and I really enjoyed it. So that is my Christmas uh, meeting, my Christmas works do uh, story. And I hope my voice has not been too um, weird, Uh, but yeah, I'm still not feeling 100%, but hopefully I'll get better before Christmas. I have a couple of days to do that, so let's see how it goes. Until then, I hope you all have a lovely Christmas if you celebrate it, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you after Christmas when I will probably have some big news to share with you. So until then, Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to English Go Podcast. If you'd like to listen ad-free listen to extra bonus episodes, or read the transcripts of these episodes, then please consider supporting this podcast at patreon.com forward slash English Go. Thank you.